Once upon a time, when you would import into Media Composer, it would bring everything in as a series of mono clips. A stereo piece of music, two individual mono tracks, one panned left, one panned right. Nowadays, starting with the prior version of Media Composer and from here forward, we find that Media Composer is able to build what's called a stereo track and it's able to have stereo tracks on the timeline. Let's first cover importing. I'm just going to right click in a bin and say import. You can see I have a directory full of royalty free music. I want to take a moment though and just click on the options button. And on the fourth tab over, normally import starts here. I'm going to go all the way over to the audio tab. There are two things I want to talk about here. The first is the idea that Media Composer is can do a sample rate conversion for you on capture. And the neat part about this is that if you give Media Composer something that's wrong, a MP3, a MPEG-4 piece of audio that would be an AAC file, it'll correctly convert it to the native format and convert the sample rate. Also, you can choose here to say, when I import a piece of music, most pieces of music come in about 20 to 30 decibels hot. I could say minus 30, pull them down on import. It'll still have all the information. It'll just be gain downwards. And I can, in fact, go as far as say, hey, I'd like you to do that, but only when you stick a CD in. Media Composer can read directly from a CD and upsample as necessary if we tell it to convert the source bit depth to the project bit depth in case it's wrong. The other thing I'm coming here for is to set what kind of audio this is. Now, this happens to be multi-channel audio. When I press the edit button, you'll see I get the choice of how I'd like to set these up. So for example, if I was going to hear and I was going to work with 5-1 sound, you'll notice five of them get taken up. It'd become five tracks in a single clip. When I choose mono, which was the original default, everybody's by themselves. By choosing stereo, it's going to take the A1 and A2 and pair them together. I'm going to intentionally turn this off. I'm intentionally going to do this wrong so I can show you how to modify a clip. This would be how you would bring in music correctly, though. Let's set it to mono incorrectly. Say OK, say OK here, and let's bring in one of these pieces of music. When I double click this piece of music, you'll see it shows me two tracks on the source side of my timeline. And in fact, if I open this up, do we have uh, data here for it? We may not have, have it labeled. I'm looking to see, there we go. We can see it's got two tracks, A1 and 2. We don't want that though. To modify this, to set this so it's a true stereo clip, we're gonna come up to the clip menu and choose modify. We can also do that as a right click. From here, we go to the drop down and we tell it set multi-channel audio. And we want this of course to be a stereo clip. When I say okay, this click is this clip will be uh, modified. It's now a stereo clip. You'll notice now when I come to my timeline, it's got a single track with two speakers on it, signifying it's a stereo clip. And you cut stereo clips into stereo timeline, stereo tracks. You cut mono clips into mono tracks. You five one and seven one clips in five one and seven one tracks.